Manchester City's record goal scorer Sergio Aguero will be leaving the club at the end of the season. 257 goals he scored for Manchester City in 384 games. He's also fourth currently on the Premier League's all-time top scorers list. It wasn't necessarily the most surprising um, news, though, was it? Because it's a big wage to keep at the club. He's been injured. He's been in and out. Um, do, you, do you think it's the right decision? I think so. I mean, we, we talked earlier when, when you have these big players and, and kind of you have to anticipate that, that sort of decline or, or not decline because I'm not saying at all that Aguero <laughs> has declined. But in, in, in the way they slow down in the numbers and in the performances and you, you have as a, as a club, uh, as a coach, you have to anticipate that and get start to think on the, on the replacements. And I think the way City has been living without him, they've done pretty well. So, so I think they got that sorted, and and I think he has different challenges ahead of himself. Of course, with all the records in the Premier League, and the numbers that he has also in Spain, he's probably looking at, at something else, something maybe a bit, a bit different than he's had in the past. So I think is the fact that they both announced it. He tells us that they're a great deal for both sides. Uh, pretty big news today concerning one of the players who might be a possible replacement for Sergio Aguero Erling Haaland uh, of Borussia Dortmund of course fantastic goal scorer his dad Alfinga former Manchester City player his agent Mino Raiola were at your old club Barcelona a little bit earlier on today having initial conversations it's being reported uh, being sold the project I think mm. at Barcelona is how it's going to go down officially uh, can you envisage Haaland going to Barcelona this summer? I could envisage him in any club. Seriously, the guy this this this, play, this guy is playing uh, could be, of course, number nine. Could be playing a bit on the sides. If he has someone that is nine, but not like 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 fixed, I would see him more in at maybe at Barca right now. As as, as per needs that Barca as a club will have, I'm not sure we can afford him at the moment. Uh, but as a as a as a player in profile, as a player, what he brings, the pace. The goals, of course, that the mobility. I see him. Barca will need him more than probably Real Madrid having Benzema, and and maybe more an, a kind of Mbappe sort of profile to Real Madrid. But uh, gonna be interesting. Of course, now is the the time to as the agent with the job and, and show him around. But um, not sure Barca can afford Haaland right now. Uh, Darren, uh, Mino Varaola, a good friend of TalkSport. He's going to have a great summer, isn't he? Um, this, this bidding war, this potential sign that, that five, six massive clubs could be in for his client, Erling Haaland, has started this early. Yeah, and the talk is that all five clubs will get equal opportunity to state their case to Raiola and to the player and his dad so that he can make a decision after that. The talk is also that Dortmund are not going to listen to any less than £150 million for him, rightly so. Whoever gets him gets a good 8-10 years of quality football and goals from him. I think possibly Barcelona, where they are willing to give time to a, a group of young players that Koeman is bringing through, might be the best place for him. I know a lot of people have been talking about an English club at Chelsea and Manchester City, but you only have to look at Timo Werner and Kai Havertz to see that Although they ripped it up in the Bundesliga last season, you need time in the Premier League because it's a very, very different style of football. Geisko, you can tell us all about that, having had to adapt to the English game. I just think he would need time and there are other players that could hit the ground running. Yeah, I agree in the sense if, if he finally goes to any of the Spanish team, it would be easier for him to adapt than if he would do it to the Premier League. I think, I think mostly is, is the... The, the, the style, the, the way in Spain, probably as, as a reference, you get more number of balls into you or feeding you, uh, especially for a striker, what he does in, in the Premier League uh, for for different type of, of football, more direct, less crosses uh, and, and less participation, as you wish, and, and, and in the build-up or in the in the kind of in, in the last third. Uh, I find it an interesting... We, we've been arguing about this. We've I was going to say that. Well. Oh, let's not be polite. We've been arguing about this because Hugh and I, but, but, I, I, I think that they should go for Harry Kane. That, 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 that who? Manchester Harlan City. should go oh, to Barcelona and Manchester City should go for Harry Kane. Kane uh, Hugh thinks that Haaland should go to City, that City should make every move for him. Do you, do you explain why, Hugh? 
I just think he's the guy for them for the next 10 years. Um, I think he's got an, um, an all-round game that goes with him. But he's not clearly not the perfect player. But I think he's got the physicality. I think he's got the awareness. He's got the touch. He's currently got the speed as well. His finishing ability is absolutely fantastic. He's at the right age. Manchester City, although they've spent big money on players, they usually have a good profile to them. That mm. means they're spending money on players at the right age that they will get good value out of them as well. And you think, who who can replace that number of goals we've spoken about? Sergio Aguero, 257. You know, Harry Kane, as great a player as he is, he doesn't fit that element of that longevity that you'll get out of the signing. You know, he's a fantastic player, but I think that's a five-year deal, and I think Erling Haaland is a 10-year deal. And that's why I think it's probably worth spending the money on him if it's 150 you, million you, quid you, you, versus 130 for wrong. Barry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> no, the theory guys, sounds, 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 wrong. sounds great, the theory. But uh, I, I think because Harry Kane knows, of course, the Premier League will be, will be, will be great in the terms also... The way he's been playing also as a number nine by dropping a little bit, and that would allow like City plays with these uh, midfielders' uh, runs and getting in, in position where, where they score and, and supporting him. Um, it would probably be the safest uh, to go with him, but I'm not sure King would leave the sports as well. Um, and I agree. I mean, City profile number nine, a striker is different than, than what, what King is and or, or offers. Uh, but if, if again, uh, <laughs> he's playing. He's playing with a crystal ball here, but I think yeah, King will be the safest bet for for City in terms of someone that he knows the Premier League, that he knows what what is required, what is needed for the team, and and adapt and settle straight away. You had to make a, a similar decision, I think, than as Harry Kane might have to this summer. You were at Valencia, you were at Castellon, of course, first of all, but you were at Valencia for a very long time, captain the club, of course, as well to, to great things. Um, and, and then had the decision to make over your future. If, if you were advising Harry Kane right now, what, what, what were the feelings that you went through? How could you help him? Um, I think it's, first it's very personal because it depends on, on, on what you want for your career, what you want for your uh, as, a, as a human being, as a person, what you're aiming in your career. I wanted to play in, in different leagues. I wanted to experience football uh, in the best leagues uh, in Europe, uh, that's why I, I, I went, ended up going to to Italy and, and England, and of course I wanted to play for for big clubs and one one win trophies, and and I'm lucky enough that I've, that I've achieved those things and, and winning trophies in different countries. Um, so I think for him it depends what he wants, uh, won't, won't, because when you move, even if it's in the same country, you need some time to adapt. You need, things are going to change, things are going to be shaken up. Of course, he has the experience and the knowledge to adapt quicker than, than someone that he comes from from a from a, a different country. But uh, is, is what he wants to do for his career. I'm sure he wants to win his trophies, uh, and it looks like City is closer to 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 do that than than Spurs uh, currently. So that would be one thing. And play, and play for a big club that he plays in Champions League as a player. You that's what you're looking for to play best competition, best clubs, and 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 make the most of your career. And that would definitely City would will will fit in that in those requests, and for him would be would be ideal.